we are in Banff after a 16 hour drive last night that was supposed to be like 14. We rolled in at around two o'clock in the morning, fell asleep, got up at seven. I probably got a good two hours of sleep and now we're ready to go ski Mount Hector. Yesterday, I was pretty like not sure about the avalanche conditions because they were like supposed to be considerable because of this warm weather that, that rolled through. But they lowered the rating to moderate and low today. So we're gonna go uh, see what it looks like. Um, Hector's like one of the tallest peaks in this area. I think it's over 11,000 and um, it looks super, super rad. So I'm stoked. It's gonna be about a 5,000 foot climb and around a nine mile round trip. We are back in the Great White North, Canada. This time it's snow covered and we're gonna go ski Hector. Um, Aaron did a lot of research while I drove because we kind of put this together last minute. Weren't sure, of course, we, were, we weren't sure we were gonna get across the border. But we, they let us in and there's lots of snow. We had to flee Utah because it hasn't snowed in a month. Third uh, driest January uh, you know, in recorded history. There's just no snow. It was like spring and we're not ready for spring. So we decided to come out to Canada and sample some of their winter goods. It's heading up the bottom drainage. Most of the reports I read about this route have people do it in March or April. So we're in here in February. So I was not sure like if people did it in February or not, but there's tracks going in and out. I mean, somebody did it yesterday. I looked at this section so many times on the topo last night and literally lost sleep thinking, oh my gosh, you know, there's some sections that could potentially slide. I didn't know what the avalanche conditions were. Now you see it, it's like this whole lot of nothing, especially in these conditions. I'm so, such a walk in the park. And uh, man, I just gotta learn to like, just chill, come up here and figure it out rather than stressing out about it and losing sleep over it. Now we're gonna step onto the glacier, glaciated terrain. And uh, we're gonna walk right around Little Hector and we're gonna get to Big Hector. That's the plan. Without squinting, can't tell if that's, uh, if those are avalanche sounds right there. Right there, just below the sun is Hector Peak. And you may not believe it from looking at the snow conditions, but just a day or two ago, it was snowing here. So I'm guessing that just a day ago, the wind was hurricane force and promptly swept away all the snow we required for some enjoyable skiing. Uh, Hector is especially stripped of snow and now that we're closer to it, we're beginning to wonder if the ice on the glacier or ice field might be too much for us in our uh, Skimo crampons and whip it. We'll get a little closer, but that's where we are right now. Still unbelievably beautiful area and actually reasonably warm. So today is a Friday and my place of employment gave the entire company what they call a health and wellness day. Meaning we have the day off to become more healthy and welly, I guess. And then what's more healthy and welly than driving over 30 hours around trip to ski glaciated avalanche terrain. And so uh, luckily Danny was game because I think every day is a health and wellness day for Danny. 
We may be getting to the point where we want to start roping up, but so far everything's just been rock hard wind slab. So the snow is going from bad to worse. Like it's got just all these features, these little like weird textures on it. It catches the rope and it's just gonna make for a magnificent descent. But the uh, secret of happiness is low expectations and I had the lowest expectations for the snow. And the snow is gone and actually not met them. <laughs> <laughs> Last 800 feet here to Hector's Mountain, and you couldn't ask for more challenging ski terrain. So if you're into this type of beat you down and break your skis type of snow, then head out here in February, because it's prime. We're most likely going to put on our boot crampons and just crush this last remaining 800 feet not on our skis because coming down this it's just gonna shake fillings loose Like this view is worth any amount of bad snow. This is unreal. The mountains go forever. We're up here on Mount Hector, enjoying the meager warmth that's coming from this winter sun. It's been pretty awesome coming up, but it's gonna be a nightmare uh, going down. That uh, snow is going to beat the hell out of me, my skis, and my friend Aaron. But it'll be nice to get back to the car and warm my hands back up. Great first day in Canada. Awesome little adventure. Way to go, Mount Hector. Made me happy. cliff behind us. I don't know if you can see it at all. This is like Whitney level cliff. It's so amazing. So on the way up we threw in our crampons. I almost never use them in Utah. Um, but I'm always amazed at how easy they are once you put them on. Now we have to ski down. <laughs> Usually I say we get to ski down. Now we have to ski down. And you want to know the one thing Canada has that's even better than this view? Spicy knuckle. up Hector. That descent was adventurous. It was character building. But the stoic in me would say that it could have been worse. It could have been breakable crust. And it wasn't that. So 
Um, not as bad as I had actually expected while we were on our way up. So uh, got some really good views, not only of the range, but of this route, this big traverse that we're thinking about trying tomorrow. And so, man, it makes me super stoked to get over there tomorrow because it looks amazing. I can't think of many peaks that have views that are that incredible. Maybe Whitney, um, but otherwise that was, that was incredible. So uh, one more day, well, maybe two days left here in Canada. We've managed to make it back to the car without breaking a ski, leg, toe, shin, finger, wrist, arm, neck, or back. I would consider that a success. Now we're gonna drive back into town in Lake Louise, get something to eat and think on tomorrow because we're not 100% what we're going to do. Might be really big. We're trying to get reservations at a hut. We got our fingers in a lot of pies, a lot of irons in the fire. We're looking at a lot of options, but I think we're going to do something cool tomorrow. And hopefully the snow will be at least a little better than what we just experienced. <laughs> 